the first scary and obvious reason you should never create custom GPTs to sell um, is because look at all the hundreds of videos telling you to do the exact same thing when you create a custom GPT. Now, the second reason you should never sell custom GPTs is because you can make so much more money doing what I'm going to show you today. You can make up to $3,000 per so-called client that you're going to get if you don't sell it on this so-called app store that they're going to get, um, like how they're trying to show you on every other video. So what we're going to do first is we're going to create a custom GPT together. Then I'm going to show you how to position it differently so that you have no competition besides the other people that watch this video right here. But at least you only have to compete with the people watching this video versus all of those hundreds of people that didn't use any creativity that's just telling you to sell the GPT itself. So what we're going to do, because I already have a few ideas that I got um, to create these custom GPTs that will be invaluable for local businesses, guys, not the app store, local businesses. All right, we're going to go and click on create a GPT. I already have this set up so that we can run through this and you guys can pretty much just copy me and it still won't be as much competition that you'll have to go through. And as you can see, you'll be able to charge $400 to $3,000 for this service and local businesses are already paying for this service, but they will ne they never had it in a way that you're going to provide it. So you're going to be able to make sales effortlessly. Now watch this. I already got it laid out. So what we're going to do is we're going to build something called Job Scholar. So let me go ahead and copy the first prompt. And then we come back over here to GPT. So it says, hi, I'll help you build a new GPT. You can say something like make a creative who helps generate visuals for new products. So I already got it. And we're going to paste that in there. I say, I would like to make a customized training and education tool. Why did I say that? Why? Because over here, you can expect to pay $400 to $3,000 for a reputable sales training program. Grant Cardone, have you ever heard of him? He made his millions before he really got into the real estate game, selling sales training to uh, local car dealerships and everything. And they were paying him three to $10,000, guys. So yes, you can kill it now that you can scale up with this. So it's going to create personalized education and training programs for businesses based on their operations, company mission statement, and job position duties. So we don't want to sell the custom GPT itself. We want to keep that. That is our asset. If you don't have no cash yet, it's because you don't own no assets, guys. So you want to keep the asset right? Which is the tool that we're going to create. And you're going to feed information about each employee or uh, applicant that the local business has. That's the service that you're going to be providing. You're going to feed that into this tool whenever they need you to. And it's going to create customized uh, training that's going to make their staff members elite. And they never have to have churn, uh, high churn rates or constantly hire people. Okay. So we're going to press Go on that and see what it comes up with. We already know what it's going to ask because I've ran through this before. Come on, come on, come on. So it takes a little second. While that's doing that, guys, you have to have GPT-4 uh, or, you know, pay for plus or whatever. Okay, so it's asking me the same thing it asked last time. Uh, how about we name this GPT uh, Edu Taylor? No, I want it to be, uh, let's, let's name Name it Job Scholar. I think that's how you spell Scholar. Okay. So we're going to name it Job Scholar. While it's doing that, I'm going to come over here and get the next thing it's going to ask me for, which is um, these eight things right here. So what I did to find this was I searched what are the most important things employees need to know to be successful at jobs. And it sourced all of this on Google. You can ask the same thing to the regular ChatGPT bot if you want to. But then we come over here. So what it's doing is, is, is still trying to create this logo or something. So just for the purposes of this, I really don't like this logo, but we can use it. Sure. Let's continue. You see how simple this is, guys. This is why you don't want to just sell these uh, uh, custom GPTs after you create them, because look how easy it is. 
Look at the uh, uh, the low barrier to entry. Anybody can create this. You want to give away for free what other people are selling. Use that to, uh, 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 you know, use that as bait. Everybody else is going to be selling this. So businesses, after a, a month of being excited about it, are going to say, ah, nah, somebody else already approached me with that. So what you want to do is use this as the bait. Hey, somebody else approached you to build you a custom GPT. We're not trying to do that. Instead, I'm going to give you a sales program that is tailored to each of your employees. That way we can increase their productivity, which will increase your revenue in turn, keeping them on longer, lowering your churn rate and, and your need for new hires and all of that extra confusion and everything. So that is a service that nobody else is offering them currently, right? So now it's saying, um, now let's consider Job Scholar. Should emphasize and avoid interactions. Um, for instance, should it discuss certain topics, blah, blah, blah. And guidance, blah, 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 act specific information. Also, how would you like to handle situations? Vague and complete. Okay. All right. It's just doing all this extra stuff that it wasn't doing last time. That's why I already had the answers and everything. How do you envision job scholars? Should they have formal? Mm, okay. It's doing it in different order than I already what I already have. So I said straightforward casual modern slang laid back and easy okay playground separate chat give it the test prompt blah 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 i want okay that is how it should communicate with users all right now while it's doing that guys um, you need to differentiate yourself. If you guys are an agency, then this is going to be crazy profitable for you guys. Make sure you guys are sharing this in the groups and everything that you're already in, uh, like with other agencies and everything like that. On top of that, guys, hold on, hold on. What is it asking now? Job Scholar has been updated with more modern, casual, and approachable communication style. You can try it in a playground. Uh, no, I don't feel like doing that now. I think it's still remembering what I came through with last time, even though I deleted it. What I'm going to do is just start feeding it what I wanted to do. Okay. So these are the topics that I want this tool, this education training tool to help with. And then I'm just going to paste in those eight topics right there. So we got number one, solving problems on the job. Number two, teamwork collaboration. Number three, company policies. Number four, leadership skills. Number five, integrity. Number six, job duties, responsibilities. Number, damn, I got the, I got the numbers. They ain't on wrong. <laughs> so we supposed to have, okay, so we got the company mission statement, time management, initiative accountability and feedback boom all right so yes like i said it still remembers it still remembers this i wanted to run through it as a test instead of doing a video a minute ago just to make sure i can show you guys and i'm qualified enough to be able to show you how to build it uh before i made a video so what it's doing is is doing things in a different order from when i first did it because it still remembers what i just asked it a minute ago so those are the uh, detriments of working with AI that actually remembers stuff. <laughs> so Job Scholar is now tailored to assist with specific topics uh, uh, you've mentioned, such as problem solving, teamwork, company policies, leadership skills, integrity, job duties, company mission statement, time management initiative. Feel free to test it. You see how it keeps trying to get me to test it? It's because it remembers everything. So let me tell you the most exciting part about this, just in case you got a short attention span that nobody else is actually showing you on YouTube. With this training program, this sales training program, you guys are not going to have to deliver it. And the local business business owner is not going to have to deliver it. So let me get the other part. I can close this out now. Oh, also set your reminder to come back here around 445 Central 
or actually I'm on Eastern time right now. So 445, because I'm going to release part two of another service that you can use these uh, when you create these custom GPTs, your agency can sell a brand new service based off of that. And I'll show you guys what that is. Okay, so what's the next step? Uh, it should have collaboration, customize the service. Also want the education tool to be customized. So I want to put this in here. Okay. Boom. And then I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. They keep trying to give us to tell us to go over there and do a test, but I'll do a test in a minute. So while it's doing that, guys, boom, this is what we wanted to use to create the freaking uh, uh, stuff, right? So I hope y'all hearing me. I just realized that the freaking... um. Uh, the Bluetooth is still on. Let me cut the Bluetooth off. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Let me know in the chat. Can you hear me? Okay. So this is called Hey Jen. No camera, no crew, no problem. So this is an AI right now. I don't know if you guys have seen it before. This dude right here is not actually there. That background is not actually there, but it actually looks and sounds like a complete like like a human it's not like ai anymore and this is just 2023 imagine next year what's going to happen so what are we going to do we're going to take the training modules that are created based off of the information of the employees and this guy is going to this guy over here is going to well actually not him the powerful part of what i'm going to show you guys is that you can clone the image of the employ employer, the person that owns the actual business. That way, the sales training can be familiar to the, the person that's uh, trying to get the job there or that already has a job there. So you can clone the image. And as you can see, he moves around. It's not like... Um, uh, send, send, send my tree. I, I, I forgot the other one. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's not like that. He can move around. He can copy your mannerisms. He can crop, copy your tone and everything. It literally sounds like you. So we can take scripts that Chad GPT is going to create for the education programs. This is the powerful combination, guys. All of the programs, the training and education is going to be tailored to each employee, right? So right over here, it says Job Scholar now has the personality that combines humor, motivation, and support, ensuring a personalized and engaging learning experience is designed to adapt its educational content based on the individual personality and answers of each employee needing training. You can now test it over here in the playground. So this is crazy. Make our conflict resolution training, uh, training funner, funnier, a customizer course for an introverted employee, supportive advice for struggling team members, motivate our team on uh, upcoming projects. So we'll choose that one right there. Let's see what it does. It's going to create modules and everything, guys. So you already know the power of GPT-4 and 3.5. That's cool. That's not the powerful part. The powerful part is after it creates that, all you need to do is have the uh, the employer, the business owner, um, do like a, a, a 60 second video moving how he moves or she moves and talking how they talk. You're going to upload that video to this uh, Hagen software, this AI software is going to clone their imagery. And it's going to clone their voice. Now, the powerful part about this, watch this, watch this, watch this is that's the only time they ever need to do a video. It's going to sound exactly like them and look exactly like them. You can choose and swap out different background scenes. On top of that, the most powerful part is that you can, with one click of a button, you'll be able to change the language. So even if the, uh, the business owner is not bilingual or a polyglot, Anybody that works at that company. So now they can really expand their hiring efforts and everything and bring on people from different backgrounds and races and everything. I'm an equal opportunity employer, right? Okay, so now they can bring in people that are uh, uh, Spanish speakers. They speak Greek. They speak Bosnian. They speak, uh, you know, Czechoslovakian or any of that stuff. With one click of a button, you can take the English version of all of the training and everything 
uh, that's, that's going to be made over there. And then you can simply translate that to multiple languages. Right. So this is freaking crazy. Right. So if y'all aren't excited, I'm freaking excited. So watch this. It says, all right, team, gather around. It's time to embark on our next grand event, uh, adventure, our upcoming project. Now let us, you know, blah, 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 blah whatever. I'm not going to make y'all read that or whatever. OK, so that's how that will work. So let's see how we can figure it. OK, so you can change this out. Right. So we got conversation starters. Just by clicking on a configure situation, you can change this out. And I haven't saved it yet. You see the save button over here when you want to save it. And you can also like publish to myself. I can publish to people with a link. I can make it public. This is crazy, right? And it's only 2023. You can upload files, make it to where they can upload files. And you can add actions. Okay, so let's see about this. I don't know nothing about code interpreter. I missed that one out. So let's see. Make our conflict uh, conflict resolution training funnier. All right. Make training module for uh, customer support employees. Okay. Uh, make motivation no video reminders for employees. Y'all see how crazy crazy this is? Customize a a course for brand new new employee. Customize a sales course for a brand new employee based on our services and products. Watch this. Look, so uh, hold on. Create a customize a sales course for an existing employee that is having trouble closing sales. Ooh, so then we can upload the knowledge. Okay, so we'll click on upload knowledge. So you can upload like videos or documents or whatever you need to train the GPT on what the company policy is on, you know, you're going to upload the dog. I used to have dreams about like, you know, the matrix when they plug in the dang on matrix uh, wire situation to the back of your head and just upload information. And you, you wake up and be like, yo, I know Kung Fu or trigonometry or some crap like that. Right. So this is as close as it gets in 2023. You can literally upload everything you want there's GPT to know about that company and their entire database will be in here. And the courses, the courses, the uh, 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 the training uh, modules, the you know questionnaires, all of that stuff that it creates will be based on that company itself. It's never been anything like this, dog. Like, listen, so tell me that a local business, you know, because usually when uh you'll sit when you when you'll do sales training like typically like this right here the sales training would not be personalized and tailored to the employees that's having the problems that's why this is going to be so lucrative for you guys uh you're going to be able to in mass in bulk like in in droves provide personalized customized sales training to local businesses based off of the new employees that's coming on and their resumes and all of that stuff based off of uh uh employees that are existing that are on the end about to get kicked out you know or fired or something or they want to increase the productivity and the sales and everything this is why this is going to be like Freaking crazy. On top of that, the business owner don't have to even be around to do this, right? So then we can add, right, we can add actions and stuff like that. Um, you know, all of this stuff, you can put a link to the company, 
you know what I'm saying, policies or something like that, blah, 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 you know, and yeah, pretty much that's it. So that's it. And then you can just save it over here. Click on confirm. Oh my God. And don't forget to come back around uh, around at two. You know, part two is at 445, guys. Part two is at 445. Share this with yourself on your Facebook. You ain't got to share it with everybody if you want to be stingy or whatever, but share it with yourself at least. Uh, so as you can see, it brought us here. So we're in this tab right here. You know, I can hide from the sidebar if I want to, blah, blah, blah. But this is what it's going to look like by David Robertson. <laughs> okay. And then it says, make a training module for customer support employees. I will click on that and boom, as you can see, it works. So we created our own custom GPT just for this. You, you Look, I can't wait to show you the type of custom GPT we're going to make at 445 later on today, guys. And as you can see, it's making the module. So if I don't want to actually sit and do all of these dang on videos, I can just copy this, okay, part one. And I tell GPT-4 over here, hold on, let me move this. Wow. Okay. Now create a video script for all of the above. Boom. And as you can see right now is creating a video script. Look, you see this, you see how crazy this is, how, how like beneficial this will be for local businesses, beneficial it'll be for your agency, especially when you couple it with cloning yourself or cloning the local business that you're going to offer this service to, uh, um, duplicating or multiplying that video into multiple languages so you can literally offer the service uh, of making them global with this situation. Y'all understand? So let me know. Go ahead and do a Jet Li Sidekick G Kong Do style to the freaking uh, subscription button if you're new to the channel. All right? Love you guys. See you in part two.